Hi guys, how you doing? This is D Durrell with D Durrell Life Solutions. Happy to again be here to have a conversation with you. Definitely looking to tackle some hard hitting topics that definitely relate to the black community. Um, I know a lot of my content lately has dealt with the dynamics of the black family, particularly when we're dealing with the the black man or black young black male and his mother. Today I want to kind of go in a different direction because in, in much complaint in our community, we focus a lot on the lack of the black man being in the family. Now we can look at this in, in two different ways. We can look at this in a position of complexity or we can look at it from a more simplistic manner in which what I particularly hear when I'm in certain black YouTube spaces in which there's a back and forth, you know, a gen gender orientation dis orientated discussion in regards to people being somewhere subjective based on their own sex. I want to focus on all of the processes that have led to the production of men who choose not to struggle or choose not to make things work for better or worse in their community, in their families, uh, being loyal to their women, marrying them, offering marriage, and not necessarily putting black women in a predicament in which they have to choose government resources versus a guy who can actually take care of the home. Now, we all know and we all are highly I, I would think um, highly pretty much exposed to the years and years of how this system was created so that black men potentially have a more difficult time of succeeding doesn't mean that it's impossible for you to succeed but what it means is that you have a more difficult time to succeed and it's quite apparent that from my analysis is that black people black men, I'm sorry, are not fighting white supremacy. They're not fighting back. They're not being ambitious enough to correct the issues despite what other people are doing, particularly the majority culture. Many black men have found themselves in their inability to take care of their families, giving up, moving on, and starting fresh. And many of them, unfortunately, move on to somebody else get them pregnant, leave them, move on to somebody else, and thus you have these dirty Negroes, dirty penis Negroes, who go around impregnating multiple women and having four or five kids for four or five different women, and so on, and not taking care of any of these women, not showing any respect to any of these women, nor are they respecting and taking care of those children. That's the problem. But, but, but how does a man like this come about? How is this created? What is the process that leads to a irresponsible man who refuses to do these things? In our community, in the black community, we have had a tendency over the last 40 years creating a high level of, a high percentage of men who think this way as opposed to men who, who basically work it out who try to struggle to get things better, who, who attempt to do things to make that community better. It's facts. So, what I want to focus on is that from the time this child is born, it probably is born in a facility that's an a inefficient health care facility. An, in a, in an, in a, an ineffective healthcare facility. And from the time they're born to school age, probably is receiving subpar health care. Healthcare. And once they transition into school, lack the social skills, the nurturing, and the fact that they're being targeted by the school system to be more likely to be suspended, put in detention, and expelled. All of these things are stacked against him, and he's not learning. Racist schools that target him just as they target black men 
in normal society to be criminals, enemy, enemy number one, well, the young black male in the school system is seen as the worst student, the enemy number one. Then on the middle school, where he's, he gets more exposed to more things. The likelihood of them, of young black males, getting into things like drugs, alcohol, um, premarital sex, committing crimes and stealing and other things in order to buy materialistic things that they don't need because they don't value themselves. The effect of not seeing positive black male images, not relating to his teachers, not relating to his mother, not relating to anybody. And the only one that he can relate to are those in the community that may be doing bad things. And then once they're in high school, they're receiving inadequate education that could prepare them to go to college or to a trade school or to some other type of technical college, the military, and they choose none. Less than 50% of black men are graduating. So how can a man like this, with all of these deficiencies, all of these things that are stacked against him, develop into a strong, responsible man that the community wants? Not only that, black young black teenagers are more likely to impregnate black girls and other women other girls more than any other group of guys now i know that in the recent times the the the, the gen the gen z's and and gen a and millennials are not the, the 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 percentage of teenage pregnancy is going down substantially but the fact of the matter is that we still have a high percentage in other groups of impregnating young girls as teenagers so how if this is a if you have a high percentage or a high likelihood of this being how your life would develop how can this person growing up with all these things against him become an adequate father a lovable husband a husband who can compete the likelihood is quite slim so I just want you to think about that before we look at it, because we need to address and focus on black males becoming successful. I'm not saying that we should disregard black females as kids, but the fact of the matter is that we focused on girls and so and, and so forth, and it's working. What we're producing is girls are, are producing their, their, their male counterparts, counterparts, they're unhappy that they can't find a guy that they want because women are hypergamous at, 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 by nature. And they want guys who are going to provide more security than they can provide for themselves. But however, public policy has socially engineered that black men have a harder uh, time doing that. A difficult capacity to work with. Our likelihood is they may not be able to do so for various reasons but at, but even though that exists the responsibility is still on black men to overcome I just want black females to keep that in mind I just want black men to keep it on, on mind for those who are doing well and are trying to attempt to understand why other black men can't do well and even my for myself I've been very critical of black men so I just want you to ponder on that a second and understand all of the nuances that, are, that occur in the development of a child, young black male, up until the, to the age of 18 and onward, in which he will face other issues that other, other males don't have to experience. Thus, this is why the black man is in the state that he's in. Because we're producing a large percentage of men who are not responsible, who are ill-prepared to deal with problems in an effective manner without wanting to fight, hurt, and curse somebody out. We're not inventing things. We're not building more businesses. We're engaging in other things that don't matter. Thus, you create guys who leave the home. 
because they feel that they cannot adequately support the home. They lack the tools. The tools are supposed to be developed from the time you are in school and up to the time that you decide to go to get other education. But when you don't have those social school, those social skills, you don't have the educational tools and, and the knowledge and skill, whether it's by hand or by mind and trade, thus you're going to find yourself in a position where you can't take care of the children you create. This woman here probably outperforms you and thus you feel some type of way and leave. It's pretty much said in a nutshell. So again, this is D Durrell, D Durrell Life Solutions. Please leave comments in the comments section. Please tell me what you think. Give me your opinion. Have a great day. Peace.